to ready and go. So in this one here, you've got this little equation here, and it says for what values of x is y not a real number, but you've just got this selection of 5 here. Now the first thing you notice is, if x was 0, with zeros in the denominator here, then y wouldn't be real. So I can straight away say x isn't equal to 0, but it's not an answer, because it's not one of those 5. But it does let me simplify this now, because you can divide quite happily by anything you like, both sides of a fraction, both sides of an equation, as long as you're not dividing by zero. So once I've excluded that, I can quite safely simplify this by dividing these three terms to simplify this fraction to say x into that, x into that, and x into that gives one over x plus y. Now I've just got this to work with. Now I don't like this little fraction here because it's got a fraction as part of it. Just multiply the three parts, the top and the bottom, by x plus y x plus y over x plus y, multiplying this one, and that of course just becomes 1. So it's reduced to this. Then I'll just take that across and multiply. Or you can say multiply both sides by that. Same effect. So that will give me, I'll put this one first, y squared plus xy plus y equals x plus y. You can see what's happening. You're narrowing it down to a little quadratic because when it says you're not going to get any real answers, then you think of things like, well, will I have the square root of something that's negative? Will I be divided by something that's zero? Or if you've got a quadratic, you'll be saying, will the discriminant be less than zero? So I'll get the quadratic first. That will be y squared plus x lots of y because they cancel minus x equals zero. So that's what this reduces to once I've divided out x, which you can do because x can't be zero. Now, what's its discriminant? The discriminant will be b squared, which is x squared, minus 4ac, so I'll make it into with the minus there, a plus four times x, and now you can answer it. So what are the values of x for which y will have no real values? Well, that'll be when the discriminant is less than zero. That means that you want the discriminant to be less than zero, which means that x, I'll just factorise that out, times x plus 4 has to be less than zero. Now, the best way to solve that is just to think graphically then. This little quadratic, if I was to draw a graph of it, would look like this. That part says it factorises to this part, so its zeros would be 0 and negative 4. But if I want to find the portion of it which is less than zero, it's going to be this part here in between the two. So there's the solution. X has to be less than zero and greater than negative four for Y not to have any real values. Now you just look back and see which of these falls into this interval and it's the negative three. X equals negative three is the required result. So that's answer B.